Have you seen Donald Trump's mugshot yet? Are you worried at all about that? I, I did see it on television. What do you think? Handsome guy. Wonderful guy. Whoever thought that a skull could make history until, of course, uh, Donald Trump came along to the Fulton County Jail to surrender formally over several charges of electoral fraud. Not his first indictment by any means, his fourth really, but the first where a mugshot was taken. That part of arrest proceedings was skipped on the earlier occasions. It was taken that Trump was a familiar enough face, but never as familiar as this new face of Trump, who in the world will ever forget this look now or in generations to come. A former Republican congressional candidate uh, says that this picture will become more famous than the Mona Lisa, even if the expressions on the two are rather different. And now all of America is in the midst of a debate in an overdrive to debate, looking for political meanings between the lines of that furrowed brow. Will it embarrass him? Will it lose him votes among Republicans or later in an election against Democrats? Or will it work for him? This almost childlike loss of guard in that look is turning out to be nearly endearing to many Republicans, it seems and appears to have strengthened party members to become yet more supportive of Trump, even more protective of this uh, presidential candidate in the appearance of a petulant child. Trump himself sees this as working for him. He posted the picture immediately on his Truth Social platform and then also on X. This was his first post on X, formerly Twitter, in two and a half years. Trump posted it also on his campaign site alongside an appeal for donations. The picture is not at first glance charming, but Trump clearly believes it could work for him and he is flashing it as one might a Trump card. The flow of donations over the next few days and Trump's position in the Republican polls of support should tell us soon enough whether this most arresting of presidential mugs uh, will work for him or uh, for his rivals in the race uh, for the nomination as the GOP's presidential candidate. And that could then open a newer chapter in American history and Trump seems to have been opening them by the dozens already. And this one, that a presidential candidate beats his rivals in a debate through skipping the debate and a heading instead to a jailhouse to scowl into a police camera. The mugshot gives Trump the look of a wronged innocence entirely in line with all he has been saying for months. He was glowering in that picture. He's glowing now in anticipation of dollars and votes that he sees it bringing for him in his campaign. The Democrats see it as representing the true and even ugly or at least ridiculous face of Trump. But whichever way you look at it, this is a mugshot like no other. That one's good. Yeah, that one's real good. Yeah, there's that spot. This is the former president of the United States. To me, it's not that I hold up the presidency to some level, but it seemed like a degradation of our institutions just by the merchandising of it. However, I also find it funny and entertaining and enjoyable.
Mugshots are great because it's something that like not only can you like it's like you're you're not only are you laughing at the person but you're also kind of at this depending on what it is you're kind of sympathetic to and it's kind of relatable to a lot of people and uh i'd say mostly iconic it's just like you know it's a mug shot it's like and they can do whatever they want with that moment they can either look like david bowie he looks beautiful in his mug shot or trump he looks uh like a like a comic book villain <laughs> like so yeah, and it's just like frozen in time for, yeah, it's, that's, that's it forever, you know. <laughs> you know, the president, the former president posed in a certain way. He had a certain look. He wanted to have this look of menace and invincibility. I mean, he, and it's almost ludicrous to me that this was the former leader of the country. I really can't make um, a prediction because in the past having Trump's likeness on an item has not really been a, a high selling point. So maybe now that it's a, a mug shot, it might be a different story. Um, it's like a sociology experiment, as I was saying before, just like, I don't know, we shall see. Uh, <laughs> as a mug shot, it could be a completely different story. Um, it's ready whenever you guys are. I appreciate you all. Have a good one. Thank you, too. Um, come back and um, let, let us know. Let I would wear one, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's like the whole like political scenario in the U.S. is really comedy at this point, so it's funny. I am definitely not. I don't, I don't support that man at all. But I, I would wear it as a joke to an event where everybody knows I, I'm not associating myself with him as a good guy. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear it to champion him in any way. I would definitely wear it to mock him. Any publicity is good publicity. And so I don't want to participate in publicizing um, this person. I don't like him. I think he represents a lot of bad things in human culture in general.